Hello everyone, a lot of people have trouble combining the color LUT patch and making the skin smoother in Spark AR, many of them have given up. I think Josh Beckwith's video is a great tutorial on this issue, thank you very much. Just a few basic knowledge, you can solve this problem quickly. But if it's still too difficult for you, maybe this video and patch will help you. Also don't forget to thank Josh Beckwith for his contribution. If this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch. Ok, let's start. In this tutorial, I have prepared for you some assets you can use including New Color LUT Patch The package you can use with LUT and skin Two LUT demo tables for examples Face Mesh Mask for Alpha Channel you can download all assets and example files in the description below. It's totally free, you can also donate to me if you think it helpful, giving me more motivation to make more great videos for you. Now, back to Spark AR Studio. Drag and drop all the assets you have downloaded into the assets panel. First the color LUT patch, and then the texture. An important note for color LUT texture, you need to make sure the no compressed is turned on. Ok, cool. Now, let's add face mesh to make the skin smooth. First, add a new face tracker, then right click and add face mesh object. Rename it to skin smooth, you can change it to whatever you want, but make it easy to understand. Then, add the material for it. And don't forget to change the name. For this, I use the same name as Fasimesh to easily manage them. Change to retouching. Now, you can see my face is smooth. Nice. Now, open the patch editor window to work with the patches. Drag and drop the color LUTs patch to the patch editor panel. With this new patch, I give you three input values is Camera texture, face tracker texture and LUT texture. Easy to understand, right? Drag and drop the two textures I use as an example for the color LUT into the patch editor panel. Connect it to the LUT input. Next, we need camera texture and face tracker texture. Click to camera in the scene panel. Texture extraction. Click to plus button. We have camera texture. Click to face tracker 0. Texture Extraction. Click plus button. We have Face Tacker Texture. They will appear on Assets panel like other textures. Important notes for Face Tracker Texture. Don't forget to turn on Eyes and Mouth and Opening and Alignment. Next, drag and drop the Camera Texture and Face Tracker Texture into the Patch Editor panel. Connect them with the corresponding inputs. Use the RGBA output to send a signal to the input. Ok nice. The output of the color LUT patch is two values. Camera color and face tracker color. This means you have to apply color LUT to both the camera and the face. Now. Let's add a rectangle object to make it show the camera color with LUT. All the time you add a rectangle object, the canvas object automatically create, because rectangle is always a child of canvas. Rename it. Make this rectangle size fix with device screen size, by clicking on the X and Y. Just click, it will show the drop down button, and you select fill width and fill height. One more important note, please sure that the canvas layer always above the face tracker layer. It will help your effect display properly. Next, choose the colorlet rectangle and add material for it. Change the shader type to flat. 
then click the arrow in front of the texture to add it into the patch editor panel. Connect it to the output of the color LUT patch. The color LUT has been applied to the entire camera. However, the skin retouching layer is not displayed because it's blocked by the rectangular object. Some things to do now is add one more face mesh object, then apply a LUT on this face mesh. Create new material and apply for it. Again, don't forget change the name. Change the shader type to flat. And add texture into patch editor. Then connect it to the rest output of the color LUT patch. Amazing! My skin has softened again. It's great now. However, we met a problem like this. We will fix it now by adding alpha with face mesh mask texture to this face mesh. Select skin LUT material and turn on alpha. Find the face mesh mask texture and apply to it. That cool. This issue has been resolved. Let's try it with other colorlets. Take a look, it works very well. You can also create animations with image sequence for the color LUT and make it change whenever you tap on the screen. Or you can combination with native UI picker. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and let's create your own color LUT filter yourself with this tutorial. Proud to see it soon. Thank you. this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch.